All right, how Superbase is working. Basically, Superbase, it's a wrapper around your Postgres database. And you got a lot of services, as I told you before. So you got a visual access to the data, to the services. But before, when you arrive on Superbase, here you arrive on the dashboard, and you can see that you can have several organizations. Organizations are actually teams where you can store unlimited projects. So Superbase is free up to a certain level, and after you got to pay for it, but you can really run your project for a long time for free. That, this is amazing with, with the team of Superbase. They thought about all the people who wants to really experience the complete um, uh, Superbase journey until they pass to the pro plan, okay? So here you got the possibility of, of having several organizations. We can see here that I created my organization with Code with Guillaume. And just for the example, I created another organi organization. If you don't get any project, what you need to do is to click on a new project up here or uh, just down here, okay? So if I click here on new project, I can click on Code with Guillaume or Guillaume's Duon Org, okay? So let's say that I'm going to create a new project with you right now, and you should do exactly the same. I'm going to call this project Superbase 2025. And then I need to choose a database password. What I suggest to you is to generate directly a password. And what you definitely need to do is to copy paste this password inside your one password or somewhere else, because later you will need that database password. Don't worry, if you don't do this, you will be able to reset your password in the project later. Then you need to uh, select a region. So here, depending on where you live, you can select the region that you want. America, Europe, Africa, Asia, okay, Australia, whatever. Uh, here, I'm just going to stay uh, here. Um, if you want to go deeper into um, the options of the project, here you can choose the uh, connection that you're going to use. We're going to see later that you can get access to your Superbase instance through the SDK, but also as a connection string if you want to get access directly to the Postgres instance. Superbase is a wrapper on top of Postgres. Either you get access to Superbase that's get access to Postgres, either you can have access directly to Postgres. We're going to see that together. Then you get the database, uh, the data API configuration to use a uh, specific schema. And you can also use a Postgres type. It's an advanced configuration to help you to choose the type of database that you're going to use. Okay, so I'm going to stay just right here and I'm going to click on create a new project. And when it's going to do that, it's going to create on Amazon Web Services my new project. Okay. And boom, this is done. So I got my Superbase 2025 project set up. We can see that we are waiting for it right now. Here, I got all the credentials here. It's very sensitive. You got all the credentials to get access to your project, okay? The first thing that we can notice here is that we got the identifier of our project, TVS blah, 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 that we can retrieve just here in the address of my project. And with those credentials, I can query my database, I can query my Superbase services, and etc, etc. So we can see that my um, dashboard just updated. And here I got a project status. And when I click on it, we can see that right now Superbase is building everything for me. So we got the database, the Postgres, the Hoth, we got the real time, we got the storage, the edge functions, etc, etc. Okay, so if I go down, I got my services, I got the possibility for me to directly in JavaScript connect to the client, okay? But if you are not using JavaScript, you have also other client libraries for Flutter, Python, Kotlin, Swift, C Sharp, and you also got app frameworks here, okay? So what I suggest is that I'm going to pass quickly uh, uh, around all the features provided by Superbase in the next lesson, and then we will be able to directly connect to our project.